Hey guys, this is Aaron from RF Digital with another example of how Simbly connects everyone and everything. Today we're going to show you how to set up communication between two Simbly devices using UARP and display the received data in our Simbly for Mobile app. This is one way we can add Simbly to existing products or applications. I have with me the Simbly Development Kit number RFD 77803, my mobile device, and my laptop. Let's take a look at the final results and then I'll walk you through the setup. Let's get started. For this example, we'll request the current temperature after a configurable amount of time. When we receive this data, we'll determine if it meets the hot threshold and display a visual indicator accordingly. We'll also create a Simbly for Mobile application interface to display the current temperature reading as well as configure the temperature unit and request time. Take a look! I'm using two RGB LED shields, two Simbly breakout boards, two AAA battery shields, and my mobile device. I have two wires cross-connected between the TX and RX pins on each Simbly device, and a shared ground. Now we'll turn on the devices. If I place my finger on the transmitter Simbly and wait a few seconds, my body heat should help to exceed the threshold and our LED will turn red. If I remove my finger, after a moment, the LED will return to blue as we fall below the threshold. Let's open the mobile application. Upon selecting your Simbly device, you'll see the current temperature listed in Fahrenheit. If I touch the temperature text, the application requests the current temperature instantly. Touching the small f will request the temperature in Celsius and change the display. Touching the small c will return the temperature to Fahrenheit. I can also change the request period. Currently it's set at 1 second. I can change this all the way up to 10 seconds if I desire. Let's take a look at the code. First, we'll show you the temperature receiver sketch, which also holds the programming for the Simbly for Mobile interface. After including the Simbly for Mobile header file, I've defined a few variables at the top. Last check and timeout are going to be used to keep track of our request period and last time we request the temperature. You'll notice I have an array of floats called hot. This is our threshold that will turn the LED red in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. I've defined a few pins, colors, and our default temperature measurement unit, as well as 8-bit integers to hold our Simbly for Mobile object IDs. Let's take a look at the setup function. After initializing the LED pins and starting serial communication, I simply set the advertisement data and called Simbly for Mobile.begin. Now we'll move on to the loop function. First, I check the number of milliseconds since our last request. If we've exceeded our request period, we determine what the current unit of temperature measurement is and send the corresponding character over UART. Next, we'll determine if any data is being received after our request. If so, we'll read that data from UART and deposit it in our tempval float variable. We'll also set the new temp indicator. Since the new temp indicator is set, we'll call the update temperature function and return the new temp value to zero. Since we're utilizing Simbly for mobile, we must remember to call the process method in our loop function. Next, let's take a look at the update temperature function. It's really quite simple. If the temperature value is higher than our hot threshold in the current measurement unit, we'll toggle the red LED on and the blue LED off. If not, we'll reverse the process, giving us a blue LED. If we're connected via Simbly for mobile, we'll also update the interface with the current temperature. The next four functions are necessary for our Assembly for Mobile functionality. We'll take a look at them one at a time. Let's start with Void UI. This is where we draw our Assembly for Mobile user interface. I'm going to use one of the colors I defined above for the background color. I've drawn each user interface object using the Assembly for Mobile functions and saved the IDs of items I want to interact with. I've also used Assembly for Mobile.setEvents on these object IDs to receive events from the application. Speaking of events, let's look at the UI underscore event function. There are only two event types that I'm interested in, press and release. If the event type is press, I'll be doing one of two things depending on the event object ID. This is the code that allows us to touch our temperature reading to request the current value, and also allows us to change the measurement unit by touching the F or C. If I happen to catch the release event from the slider object, I'll change the request period according to the value of the slider. That's it for the UI underscore event function. 
Simply for Mobile underscore on connect and Simply for Mobile underscore on disconnect are very simple functions that merely set different parameters when a user connects or disconnects from our application. It's important to note that we set the isConnected variable in these functions, which makes a big difference in the correct operation of our Simply for Mobile app. Now we'll take a look at the temperature transmitter sketch. Our transmitter sketch is extremely simple. Our setup function simply initializes the LED pin and starts UART communication. Let's talk about the loop function. This function isn't very complicated either. We merely check for received data over UART and determine our measurement unit by the received data. We then pass the temperature measurement back over UART. And that's it. For more videos like this, visit our Simbly YouTube channel. And for more information on our products, visit Simbly.com. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.